Hello, welcome along to Sports Bet TV with me, Paul Alster. Uh, I am really looking forward to Saturday, the 20th of April, where there's some excellent racing across Britain uh, and Ireland as well. There's racing at the Curra, but I'm focusing on a couple of races for you two free tips, uh, one at Newbury and the other at Air. Now, if you happen to be new uh, to this service, then uh, do press the uh, red subscribe button just beneath this screen and then you'll be able to uh, keep uh, all my tips on side absolutely free and um, consider them. Uh, I'm always looking for horses that are offered at decent odds and uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but on the balance over uh, a season and over a calendar year we nearly always come out on top and uh, it's a matter of patience when you're backing at big odds. <clears throat> you're not going to get loads of uh, winners, small, short price winners, which of course you end up losing on overall anyway, but you're going to get some decent each way winners. Now, and also the places are, are very worthwhile as well. As we saw last weekend, my two suggestions, well, Lord Snooty gave us a real shout over at Aintree, coming second at 18 to 1, I think it was. Uh, so he ran an absolute blinder for Christian Williams. Then uh, Panda Boy never really got going in the national with the ground drying out. He needs it bottomless, and it wasn't. So he did finish the course, but um, it wasn't uh, to be for Panda Boy. <clears throat> but overall, we did show a small profit last Saturday. Now, uh, if you're looking for plenty of tips and some good ones along the way, of course, as well, then do think about joining me at this subscription channel at Out in Front. Uh, we have been going great guns, particularly this week as well, uh, without backing a winner. Uh, there have been five selections this week, I think it is, and they've all been placed, including just one selection on Friday, which came placed at 4.040 to 1 at Newbury. So they're going really well, and these nice big-priced each-way horses running well, and it won't be much longer, I'm sure, before quite a few of them start to hit the target, and I'm hoping that is going to be the case at Out in Front, you can check out how to join us by clicking on the link in the description box just below this screen. But of course, I also have two free uh, recommendations for you here at Sportsbet, and I'll go straight to the first of them. And that's at Newbury on Saturday at 2.40, their feature race, the Group 3 Greenham Stakes, a trial for the 2,000 guineas. Good to soft ground 11 runners. Remember, Frankel won this race before going on to memorably take them apart in the 2000 guineas a few weeks later. And this race has a very long history of being won by good horses, some of whom go on to become classic winners like Frankel. Since Frankel, it's also been won by the likes of the mighty Kingman, Olympic glories won it, Mohara, also Barney Roy and Perfect Power amongst others. Now this year's race looks competitive, I'd say, but probably is not gonna produce a horse of quite that count. We'll see. The favourite is a horse called Zoom Zoom, and it's been an uneasy favourite drifting throughout Friday from about six to four out to two to one and even nine to four in a place. And I'm not surprised really. This horse is actually unbeaten in three starts last season, ending with a win in Listed Company on heavy ground at San Clou. That wasn't a deep race, even though it was deep ground. It wasn't a deep race that Zoom Zoom won, but of course it could do no more than win. It is unbeaten in three starts. And on its second start, it beat a horse called Kikuli. And earlier this week, Kikuli came out and won what looked a probably a pretty hot maiden at Newmarket. So clearly the form is pretty good, but whether or not it's green and form, I'm really not sure. Um, so Zoom Zoom, not one that will be running in the classics because it's a gelding. It's going to be favourite for sure, but it is a little bit uneasy. Uh, and... I wouldn't be at all surprised if we find at least one to beat it. Now, Mr. Sketch is trained by Eve Johnson Horton, um, and this one romped to a 10 length win very nearly at Salisbury over six furlongs in August in a novice stakes. And then it failed by only half a length when it was second on heavy ground to a useful horse called Array in the Group 2 Mill Reef Stakes at Newbury last September. And the extra furlong shouldn't be an issue, but I'm just wondering if Mr. Sketch has the class to win. A race such as this. Now Adrian Keatley's yard is very much on the up and Bally Mountain Boy put the yard on the map last season following a win in a little forerunner maiden race at Hamilton by finishing second in both the Group 2 Richmond Stakes at Glorious Goodwood and the Group 3 Acom Stakes at York Seaboard Festival. It was then outclassed at Group 1 level at Longchamp on Art Day 
but it bounced back right at the end of the season to win the listed prospect stakes at Doncaster on heavy ground. It's been an absolute star for the stable, and it's going to be very interesting to see that having been such a precocious two-year-old, uh, whether it's trained on and continued to fly the flag for its Yorkshire yard. Now, Richard Hannan's stable is in blistering form at the moment. He's sending out big prize winners right, left and centre. Had a 25 to 1 winner on Friday. Um, and he's got a horse here called Sun. And Sun uh, was only 20 to 1 or thereabouts. I'm looking now and seeing that some of the firms are down to as short as 12 to 1, even 11s. I'm not surprised given the stable form and the fact that this horse is second top rated on official figures at 106. Um, but despite that, he's been pretty much overlooked. He ran some very good races last season. Um, he was uh, placed in this dig company and ran with credit in a few group twos. So I wouldn't be surprised to see a big effort from Sun. While Kevin Ryan has also been going very well of late, and his room service is a horse who could run well. Uh, he improved by nearly a stone on his previous three efforts when he ended last season with a success in the big and valuable Doncaster sales race at the St. Ledger meeting. And another one who's uh, going to be on the premises is George Scott's Watch My Tracer, a horse who appeared to have done well from two to three years old, winning on his seasonal reappearance six weeks ago in Listed Company at Lingfield. And if he's able to transfer that progress back onto the turf, he is not without a chance. But that takes me to my selection. And um, I would say that with the exception of the unbeaten Zoom Zoom, we know more or less where we stand with most of these horses, but that is not the case. With the Archie Watson trained and Holly Doyle ridden Army Ethos. Army Ethos is my choice, an impressive winner he was on his juvenile debut at Air last May, and then he went on to run a blinder down at Royal Ascot when beaten only a neck into second place in the Group 2 Coventry Stakes by Aidan O'Brien's River Tiber. That was a tremendous run. Now, unfortunately, racing is racing, and horses are horses, and this horse met with a setback soon after that massive effort, and he didn't run again as a two-year-old, which must have been absolutely crushing for connections. Now, he was rated 110 after those two runs as a juvenile. Uh, he returned to action, having been off the uh, track very nearly nine months. He ran in a four-runner race at Newcastle last month, was sent off very long odds on, and he got beat. He was making his own running, uh, he was headed a furlong out, and he had no response in the end to Jeff Oldroyd's Pocklington, who was making it two from two and is rated an exciting prospect. Now, Pocklington is a horse that is held in really high regard, but I believe there has been some very flashy offers for the horse since it uh, beat Army Ethos. But my view of the race is that Army Ethos was probably a little bit fresh. Uh, he probably needed that run. And the fact that he had to make his own running uh, and all the rest of it didn't help. I forgive him that. And I think that if he gets a proper gallop here at Newbury on Saturday, he's going to run a massive race. Um, remember this horse only beaten the neck in the Coventry by an Aidan O'Brien hot pot. He's eight to one best start at the time of this recording with Bet Victor and Coral. So Army Ethos is the one for me uh, for Archie Watson and Holly Doyle to win uh, the uh, classic trial the Greenham Stakes, the Group 3 at Newbury 240. And then my second selection for you for Saturday, well, it's in the Scottish National at Air at 335, 26 runners. Well, it is a massive field, loads of really good staying handicappers. It could be a race that has a destiny, a bearing on the destiny to the British Trainers Championship with Willie Mullins, Paul Nichols and Dan Skelton all having runners. They're betting around eight to one the field. Willie Mullins is saddling six. The stable jockey Paul Townend is on Spanish Harlem. Fascinating choice because the horse has never gone beyond two and a half miles. And here he's been asking to go four miles on Saturday. If Paul were to win it, it would be a famous double having partnered Ion Maximus to that brilliant success at Aintree last Saturday. But whether he'll stay and on his handicap debut on a mark of 140 remains to be seen. Amongst Willie's other runners, he's got McDermott. Um, who was a runaway 12 length when on the ground at Ferry House last time over three miles. He's gone up £16. Pounds. Um, it's hard to know just how much was left in the locker that day. And Mr Incredible, who was uh, towards the rear of midfield at the chair in the Grand National last Saturday when he blundered an unseated rider, 
He's coming back for more turning around very quickly in just seven days. It's not an ideal preparation, to be honest. Uh, but if he hasn't taken too much out of himself, then on his previous second to Beauport in the Midlands National at Utoxta the time before, he will go very well. And speaking of Beauport, Nigel Twist and Davis's runner really did step up on his previous efforts and seemed to relish stepping up to a marathon at Utoxeter when he won the Midlands National. And he's only gone up five pounds for that, which to me is a bit surprising. He seems to have been overlooked for the race as well, with 20 to 1 on offer at the time of this recording. But in contrast, one horse who has already been backed very heavily in the market is Jeet Maker for Jamie Snowden, a horse who revels in the soft ground and has already run really well of late when he was second at the Cheltenham Festival in the three and a quarter mile Kim Muir. Um, if he can stay the extra six furlongs, then he would have to go very well again. There's no stamina dance about Angela's crack for Brian Ellis, and he's got a string of ones next to his name. He's on a five-timer, having last been seen uh, winning the Ida chase at Newcastle on heavy ground. And all in all, he's gone up two stone, 28 pound rise this season. But the horse keeps on defying the handicapper. Uh, Inishore is one that I think will go well for Lucinda Russell. Romped home in the Edinburgh National last time out, but has gone up a stone. Could still be a contender, though. And he's following the same route to this race as the Yards 2021 Scottish National winner, Mighty Thunder. I'm going to be backing two in the race, as I so often do in big handicaps. One of them I've already suggested uh, over at uh, out in front and if you want to find out about that one and the other three i've suggested for saturday and there'll be more for sunday then you can click on the link in the description box below this screen and consider joining us for just 25 pounds a month but the one i fancy as well equally is the one i'm giving you here it's called autonomous cloud and it's the amount of uh, the amount of no more he doesn't ride anymore it's trained by Michael o'brien and is the amount of jonathan Burke. And this one is from an informed stable. Um, very good fourth behind both Beauport and Mr. Incredible in the Midlands National last time. Now, he held every chance going down towards the final fence. It was his first start for 80 days. And to me, he just ran out of puff and might have been half a, a gallop short of absolute peak fitness after the 80-day absence. But that run was a good one. Um, he's won twice earlier in the season on testing ground. I think on the revised terms with Beauport and Mr. Incredible, he can go very, very well indeed. And with the yard flying, the 22 to 1 for five places still available with Lambrooks, I think is really good value. And I'll be backing him along with my other selection that I've recommended at Out in Front. So those are the two free tips for you uh, for Saturday here at Sportsbet. Um, I hope you'll consider them and hopefully they'll run very well indeed. I'll be back the same time next week. Whatever you're backing this weekend, I wish you the very best of luck.